First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Here's Goff. That's caught. It's Sam LaPorta. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Now it's gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. They should have put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. From the 44 now, here's second and four. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. There are times on carries like that where he looks a little bit older than his rookie status. How many times have we talked when we've gone out to dinner about how precocious these youngsters are that come into the NFL now? They play at a higher level at a younger age. The stars aren't quite in their eyes as much as it used to be, huh? And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Out of the gun. Gone. That pass caught. It's Williams. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 24-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Donald with a sack. 
They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 21. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. A shotgun snap for Stanford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's a second and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete as he loaded a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that frog. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Stafford. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Lions will take over. Now Goff on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Second and ten. Goff now looking to throw. He's got this to Williams complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. Uh, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Gone. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go.
Back to throw. Goff. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And a good result there as that'll get out of bounds and pin them back at their 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies. And that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football, they're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Now a first down throw. Stafford. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for L.A. 57 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Now a second and 10. Stafford now to throw. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. That man will stop them so far in this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. To throw is Stafford. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua. A five-yard touchdown. And the Rams put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Another shot now for this Lions offense. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now a throw here to his running back. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. 
Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And meanwhile, Goss throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Play action. It's gone. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Byron Young, the one who got in and finished that play off. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Throwing on third, Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Here's second and ten. Montgomery back to the ground. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now golf. That is caught. He's got the first down and more. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. To throw is gone. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Montgomery diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. a stalemate in order to find that space. Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't it? Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown. Taking it right down Broadway. Yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 35. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and he's got this down to the 35. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Off of play action, here's Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. Now a play fake it at Stafford. That's going to be caught. Puka Nakua with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And Detroit getting set to go now. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. A gain of 32 that time. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and four. 
They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and bunching. And there was another first down run right there. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at 14. Taken in at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. A gain of three, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. The result only four yards there on the play. And now it's third and three. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Stafford on third down. Open man right side is cup complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. 
They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first down at Stafford. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Stafford. Pass complete there to McCoy. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A gain there of 30 big ones. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Stafford looks to throw again. That's quickly to Atwell on the slant. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and six now. Back to throw, Stafford. Over the middle, complete. It's Williams. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third down and three. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. This from 44 yards away. Marr able to put this one through, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. Oh, a good return up past the 30. 
And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Three yards there to begin the third quarter. They also lead by three points. Here's second and seven. Now Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and it will be first and ten as they take over. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. I call it no gain there on the first down play. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. To throw on second down is gone. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good at training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, Monday will complete it anyway. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Goff on first down. He's got this to Williams complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Two choke plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Gibbs straight ahead. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He's got right on the short throw. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. This is second and eight. Now gone. 
Got his man. It's Williams. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. From the red zone now, Goff. This to Laporta, right side. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. On second down, Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offensive backfield and spilling everything. But I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. They begin the drive with Williams. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's a second and eight. Stafford. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Okay, let's, let's decide here. He was open, right? Not as strong. That's a completed pass. Yeah, uh, he missed that one and missed it in a big way. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throw out wide is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. Now a first down throw, gone. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Out of the gun, Goff. He's got it to Williams. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and two. Oh. 
Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Williams going to get it again on second down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Charles Harris, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. A gain of five. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to swell the lead to six. And it's off the left upright. Oh, my goodness. Heartache. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Reynolds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. He's airing it out for Williams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. The Lions on third down, five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's gone. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Just picking up yardage and bunches here in these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 24. He'll look to Williams to begin things. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A ball on the 32. It's second and two. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Breaks a tackle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Great gains back-to-back. -back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. On first and 10, Stafford over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Trying to get on second down, but this time it's incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on first one. Continuing chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there. To just go that way. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll leave it for Montgomery complete. 
The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Here's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. From the 35, here's a second and five. From the gun, here's gone. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gibbs. And he'll go down at the 28. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, he certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll try the middle with Montgomery to about the 26 here. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Golf. Defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. This one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. L.A. set to take over again on offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 24. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 84 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They run it again with Williams. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 47, it's second and five. 
Here's Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle. 2-2 two -two Atwell. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Stafford. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in position to dictate to the offense. Another try, second and ten now. Out of the gun, Stafford. They'll get this one to Cobb complete. football where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree one thing they did learn find open areas find soft spots and set up and catch the ball and I think we just saw that there yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete limited time left on the clock after that incompletion so I think both sides are going to save for every second to prepare before the next snap because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Stafford slow here, hauled in by Cup. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. This is first and ten. Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. Now it's Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But we know this is definitely poor down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Stafford now to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a throw, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield with man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here we go on fourth. Stanford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And 
and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. taken just outside the 20-yard line. So now Stafford and the Rams down 28-24, 35 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. to get in there and drop him. Brandon, you got some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is all 30 yards downfield after that play. They'll come up now on second down. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the line. says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. One last throw here for Stafford. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. 